Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, and welcome. Uh, today, we're just going to go over a little bit about the two witnesses, keeping an eye on the end time scripture and the revelations, okay, or Revel book of Revelation. But let's take a, a look because at, at the Jews, because the Jews are the center of everything. Everything. They are God's time clock. You know, we need, you know they became a nation in 1948, and that is the last generation. We just don't know when about. We've got a few years to go yet, but not many. Certainly not many for the rapture. Take away the seven years, and it could be any time, even today. Woohoo! The Jews supernaturally got to go back to their homeland after six million were killed in Germany. As written in Isaiah 11, 11, it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover a remnant of his people who were left from Assyria and Egypt, from Pathros and Cush, from Elam and Shinar, from Hamath and the islands of the sea. The Jews could not find a resting place anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world. They couldn't rest. The US has been their best friend, but even now their anti-Semitism in the U US, the, there is anti-Semitism, which we know, and growing. But we're just at that time when all times point here, the end. America has participated in the dividing of the land for peace, but there's no peace. Israel wants East Jerusalem, and I believe that will be a part of the Antichrist deal. Uh, it's not up for question, this is just debate. Do leave comments. I love your comments now, they've, they've really changed around. I love we're all going as one in the right direction and testing and, and giving answers. I love it. I love you. I believe the deal the Antichrist will make with Israel is that if they give up the East Jerusalem, they get the Temple Mount. But it won't matter if they do or they don't give permission. The two witnesses are present and they're bulletproof. They will bring it about. The two witnesses alone can rebuild the Temple. They can't be touched. They can call fire down from heaven the two witnesses can do what they want they can judge the, all their enemies they are bulletproof so it'll happen and that might be a part of why they're here at that time in the first three and a half years the two witnesses are ministering on the temple mount they are completely untouchable they preach the gospel and the world hates them that's the world hates them I can't figure out why at that point the world would hate them because they're preaching the gospel. But it says it, the world will hate them. They are so hated that the Antichrist kills them in the middle of the tribulation and they lay their bodies in the streets and the whole world watches. Which seems to me the internet will be controlled but about at that time. This is the only generation that can watch something at the same time, isn't it? And they send gifts to each other. I mean, this was going to be, I'm thinking as I go, this will be the leaders sending gifts to each other, the nations sending, for, for doing this great honour of killing the... But I mean, if you think about it in today, I mean, this is, could be happening within a few years, three years, to be honest with you. How are we going to justify killing two people and laying them in the streets? You know, we see what um, is happening and blocked from the news now, killing people and leaving them in the streets. So the, who, who's, who, the Antichrist is going to give this order. It doesn't sound like Donald Trump or Biden, but it could easily be any of them, and we know that. But that's just one to think about, that it's, it's just opening the scriptures but the two witnesses willing, willingly give up, give their lives, knowing that they are going to die. But they have already accomplished what they came to accomplish. They're, it's willing. But interesting one, they're raptured then. That's another rapture. So there's a rapture before the tribulation. There's a rapture in the middle of tri tribulation of the two witnesses. And there is a rapture at the end of people who have been martyred. So there's three at least in within the tribulation period. So... Please don't send me saying rapture is not in the Bible. I, I do know that. It's not in the English Bible. But it also explains in the Middle East, of the middle of the tribulation, when the two witnesses are killed, why 
would stop, why they would stop sacrifices. The world is incensed that the temple is going to rebuild. Can you imagine what the world outcry will be against animal sacrifices? Think about it in the Western world, animal lovers. You know, when they start sacrificing animals, I mean, we all went, oh, when the goat was sacrificed, didn't we? But imagine a daily sacrifice, an abattoir. <laughs> the world's going to rebel against that. And the Antichrist is going to use everything in his good heart uh, to make us think he's good. But the Antichrist is going to kill the two witnesses and stop the sacrifice at that point. Does that make sense? The whole world will love him for that. He's a good guy. He stopped all that killing of innocent animals cutting their throats. And Jesus says that will begin the greatest tribulation in history, in the history of the world. Jesus' words. Let's read them. Matthew 24, 21, 21 to 22. For then there will be great tribu tribulation such as not been seen since the beginning of the world. That's the beginning of the world. No was bad, but this is going to be worse. Until this time... No, nor ever shall be, praise the Lord. And unless those days are short, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake of those days will be shortened. Almost 30% of the Bible is prophecy. I think much more we just haven't discovered yet. And this is the most prophesied time in history. We're in it. We're in it. And this generation... There's more people alive than ever before. Hmm? If this is not a sign, if we cannot read the obvious, because this is so obvious that we're here, ready to, for rapture, guys. Ready for pre-tribulation rapture, in my understanding. Ready to go. Ready to get out of here. If you're saved. If not, then you're in the tribulation. You're in what we're just talking about. But you can still get out because you'll be raptured at the end as a martyr. Because you won't be able to feed yourself. You, you will not be able to take the mark of the beast. You will not be able to deny Christ. You'll have to stand up. So do it now. Stand up for Jesus now. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. And then follow him. Follow him. Come to the Lord now. Come out with us on the rapture. Come out before it's too late and you're in that. I know a lot of you are struggling bringing your families in, but I think God has got that in hand. Because there is no tears in heaven. There is no tears in heaven. Now, for further fellowship, the only place I can send you is Discord. Please join us on Discord. The link is in the description. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to get into, but when you open your own Discord site, when you sign into yours, because you get one, and then you sign into ours, Make sure there's an email on your site because you'll need to confirm a site with an email to get onto ours because of the security. Everything's safe and in Discord server hands, not ours. But brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave you with that other one. I'll try and get another one out tonight. I'm going to answer a few questions in, from, in, in the middle of this um, about comments I'm getting sent in the comments sections. And I think we'll just do a small one midships between... Looking at the next one, which is the final sign. I I'm, 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 can't wait to script that. But brothers and sisters, I'm going to leave you with may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you, and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.